This is the Alipad Titan 2.0 and it looks identical to the first gen Titan wallet. But the 2.0 does come with some important upgrades that make it a little better. If this ends up being the wallet for you, I'll drop the link as well as a discount code in the description for you. Inside the box, you will find the Alipad Titan 2.0 device along with a screen protector, a user guide, a couple of seed fray sheets, a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, a charging cable, as well as the stand-up charging port. Unlike some other hardware wallets that I've reviewed, the Elipal box does not have any security seals on it. However, the way the wallet is designed, it is tamper-proof, so really that's not a concern when unboxing the device. So let's talk about the design. If you don't have the Elipal first gen, then you probably don't know what to expect when you unbox the 2.0. If you do have it, it's literally exactly the same as far as I'm concerned. It does have this nice four inch glass touchscreen, which is among the best that I've come across in my collection of wallets. The shell is really solid. It's constructed from metal, completely sealed, and has a nice sleek finish. In terms of how this wallet feels and weighs, for reference, my iPhone 12 mini weighs 198 grams with the case on it and the Titan 2.0 weighs 140 grams, so just a little lighter than my iPhone. It does have this nice golden camera on the back to scan QR codes because all Elipal wallets are 100% air gapped, which by the way is something unique about the Elipal Titan and the Titan 2.0. It doesn't have any access points on the actual wallet. All it has are some prongs on the bottom of this device. The charging dock is what actually has everything. It has the slot for the micro SD card to update the firmware and then it's also how you actually charge the wallet and that way there are no vulnerabilities on the actual device itself. This combined with the solid metal one piece design of the Titan 2 makes it literally impenetrable. If someone did want to gain access to anything inside the wallet, they'd have to completely destroy the device. Although I love this design of the Titan and the Titan 2.0, you know, it's basically a brick. The only thing that is a little concerning is the dock itself. If you happen to lose it or you break it, you won't be able to charge your wallet or update the firmware until you buy a new charging dock on Elipal's website, which is around $30. So that's a little different from other hardware wallets where you just use a cable and plug it directly into the wallet. The Elipal Titan 2.0 and the Titan, you actually need this physical dock to charge the device and update the firmware. And one thing I did notice while inserting the micro SD card into this dock is that the leg of the dock is a little flimsy, especially if you're pressing down on a hard surface. So you wanna make sure to pick up the dock in hand and insert the micro SD card that way so you don't break the leg. Now I know Elipal has put a lot of thought into the design of their wallet, but that makes me wonder how secure is this device? How secure are the internal workings of the Elipal Titan 2.0? Well, it is on par with some of the most secure hardware wallets that I've reviewed on this channel, including the Keystone 3 Pro, uh, the original Keystone Pro, and the One Key Touch. Like most secure cold wallets, the Titan 2.0 now comes with an EAL five secure element chip, which if you don't know is what stores your private key, seed phrase, and other secure data on your cold wallet. And this is pretty much standard amongst any secure cold wallet on the market today. But there is one downside of using an EAL certified chip in your cold wallet, and that is that the wallet manufacturers do have to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which restricts them from open sourcing parts of the firmware. So the Elipal Titan 2.0 is not completely open source, but it's only partially open source. So although his firmware is not open source, his code base is open source, which is the software that's used to develop and interact with the device, and it's publicly available for review on GitHub. The Titan 2.0 is 100% air gap though, so it doesn't have any external forms of communication, including Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, USB connection, or even any ports on the actual device. The design itself is one of the best security features of the Titan 2.0. As I mentioned earlier, it is one solid piece of metal. So if someone wanted to gain access, physical access to your wallet, they would literally have to saw into this wallet just to gain access. And it also would completely erase all the data on the wallet 
if it detected that someone were trying to break into it. So you don't have to worry about that and you would know it's compromised because, well, it'd be sawed in half. Now here's where the Titan 2.0 really stands out from other wallets on the market. And that is you can manage up to 10 different accounts from this one wallet. Five of those accounts are actual wallet accounts that you can create or import using a seed phrase. And the other five are single accounts that can be imported using a private key. So you can literally manage 10 different wallets from this single device. You can further enhance security by creating your own 25th word seed phrase or pass phrase. So your wallet will automatically generate 24 words for your seed phrase, but you can take that security a step further by adding your own word whatever word you want it to be and again this is optional so it's up to you if you want to do this but it will basically create a hidden wallet and will also make your seed phrase that much more impossible to hack also when you set up the wallet you have to create a password and this password is just another security feature that will be required every time you sign a transaction along with an optional pattern setting that acts as a pin code for your device as far as coin support goes the titan 2.0 can be used to manage nfts and it supports over 10,000 coins and tokens, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, all ERC-20 tokens, XRP, and a ton of other tokens. So how easy is it to use the Titan 2.0? A lot of air-gapped cold wallets aren't the most user-friendly wallets, but overall I'd say the Titan 2.0 is pretty user-friendly. The screen is very responsive. There is little to no lag when scrolling. So yeah, overall, it's a really good user experience. And setting up the Titan 2.0 is actually really straightforward. It takes just about two minutes. All you have to do is turn on the device, select your language, download the Elipal app onto your phone, choose create a new wallet, or you can recover a wallet using your seed phrase or import an account. If creating a new wallet, you'll need to name your account and set a password for it. This is also where you can create a passphrase, AKA the 25th word for your seed phrase if you would like. Next, you'll record your 24 word seed phrase and verify your phrase by choosing the correct words in the right order before choosing the coins you want to manage. Then tap OK and your wallet is created. Now to manage your crypto, you do need to use the Elipal app. So to connect your device to the app, just tap connect to Elipal cold wallet on the Elipal app. Then tap the link icon on your device. Then use your phone to scan the QR codes on your wallet, which will securely connect all your coins to the app. Using the app, you can buy, sell, send, receive, swap, and stake coins. Of course, the Titan 2.0 is still required to verify or confirm any transactions you initiate. And this is done so that everything is still happening completely offline. As far as updating the Titan 2.0, it's the same process as previous generations, the Gen 1 model and the Titan Mini. So if you've ever updated that, this is going to be the same process. If you haven't used any of those wallets before, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware using the micro SD card right now. Now, before you update the firmware, you always wanna check which firmware version is currently on your device. That way you know that you're updating to the most current firmware. To check, just go to settings, about, and look at firmware version. Now to update your device, go to elipal.com, click on support, firmware update, now you'd select the Titan 2.0 if it were here, but I'm making this video the day before it's released so it's not yet listed on the site. Also, the micro SD cards need to be in FAT32 file format for the update to work. My card came formatted this way. To check if your card is FAT32, right click it and tap get info. It will tell you if it's FAT32 or not. If yours doesn't come formatted this way, just click how to FAT32 format and this step-by-step -step guide will walk you through it. Then you can download the firmware, make sure it's in a zip file format and drag it into your micro SD card. Also make sure to click eject before pulling out your micro SD card or you might corrupt the data on the card. Now insert the micro SD card into the Elipal dock and connect the power cable. Make sure your Titan 2.0 is powered off before placing it on the dock. To start the update, go to settings, update, and the update will automatically begin. Once it's done, your device will restart automatically and you'll be good to go. Now, there are a couple of ways to ensure that you're downloading only authentic and official Elipal firmware. First is always downloading the firmware directly from the Elipal website, which is elipal.com. Never, ever download firmware from any other website. Now, second, while it's not mandatory, you can use Elipal's verification tool to ensure the authenticity and integrity of your firmware. 
I'll leave the link to that tool and how to use it in the description for you. The Elipal Titan 2.0 will cost $169, which is $30 more than the first gen Titan. So why the $30 increase? Well, let's compare the two. First off, the Elipal Titan 2.0 comes with the EAL5 secure element chip, which was not found in the first gen device. In my opinion, this is the biggest upgrade to the 2.0 as these chips are crucial for securely storing your private keys and other sensitive data on any cold wallet. But the 2.0 also comes with heightened sensitivity, accelerated processing speeds, and optimized power efficiency. Now those are the main upgrades. Apparently the design did get a little bit of an upgrade, but but honestly, it's not even worth mentioning because it all looks the same to me. Now, I always aim to provide my most honest opinion about any cold wallet I review. So the question is, is the Ellie Pal Titan 2.0 worth $169? In my view, the 2.0 offers some really good security features and the device itself is super durable. As far as its user friendliness, it's not the most user friendly cold wallet and this is mainly due to it being air gapped. So you do have to you know, format the micro SD card and you have to update the device using the micro SD card. So if you are at least a little bit tech savvy, then I would say this would be a good fit for you. If you just hate messing with technology, then I would not recommend the Titan 2.0. Now, if you compare the 2.0 to other devices on the market that are similar, that have a large touch screen, such as the Ledger Stacks or the One Key Touch, I'd say $169 is a very fair price because those other wallets are hundreds of dollars more. Plus you can save even more money using my discount code CyberScrilla, which I will drop in the description for you, along with the official link to the Elipal Titan 2.0 if you wanna check it out. Now, if you're someone who's considering upgrading from the Titan to the Titan 2.0, I would say the secure element chip alone is worth the upgrade. But if you have had no issues with your first gen Titan and you're okay not having a secure element chip, then I would just stick with that and don't upgrade to the 2.0. That's okay. Also, if you are a strong advocate for open source firmware, for a completely open source cold wallet, then the Titan 2.0 is not for you because again, it is only partially open source. That said, if you decided that the Titan 2.0 is not for you and you're looking for a completely 100% open source and air gap cold wallet, then make sure to check out the Keystone 3 Pro. I'll see you next time.